Well, good afternoon to you. Um, I've just arrived at the uh, Morial Ministries Conference up in Staffordshire. It's a place called Stone. I didn't know there was a place called Stone existing anywhere, but um, it's quite out in the wilds and it's quite a large conference centre with several different accommodation blocks. And uh, I thought, actually yesterday I, I wanted to share with you, um, I didn't get the opportunity, but um, what came to me was I was thinking about Jerusalem and uh, this particular psalm came to my attention and I'd like to just share it with you uh, before I actually have to go off. Um, psalm 122. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Our feet shall stand within thy gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is builded as a city that is compact together. Whither the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord, unto the testimony of Israel, to give thanks unto the name of the Lord. For there are set thrones of judgment, the thrones of the house of David, Here's the commandment. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions' sakes, I will now say, peace be within thee. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. For the sake of the brethren, Peace be within thee. Jerusalem has a purpose, an end time purpose, as we can see in here about the millennial kingdom. And um, it's going to be the center of the earth very soon. And of course, at the moment, as we're seeing in Israel, um, we're starting to see the, the dominoes taking effect. We're starting to see, if you call it, the chess pieces moving around. And we're seeing, aren't we, the, the, another step on the road of the birth pains that Matthew speaks about in chapter 24. But we're told, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Because we know now the enemies are surrounding Israel. The hatred is building. And it isn't just building in Israel, is it? It's building globally. And I feel this conference that I'm at um, this weekend, I feel it's also quite pivotal as well, because we're probably going to be discussing these things fellowshipping and talking about them and as the scripture says iron sharpens iron and I think it's so important isn't it that um, that we understand the chronology of the end times the way that things are going to work out um, when you go into a, a, a briefing session for instance if you're going to go on a mission you often see these second world war films where you see the the pilots about to go on a sortie and uh, they're being briefed by the, the uh, major or whoever he is, and he's telling them where they're going to be going, what they're going to be doing, what targets they're going to be um, hitting, and timings. And I kind of feel that it's the same for us now as Christians. It's very important that um, we sit in the briefing sessions, that we come to understand the timings of God, what's actually going to be taking place and I think that many of the arguments that we have around the end times, I think that um, if we really set our minds to to understanding the scripture, then a lot of those arguments are going to be put to rest and we're all going to be able to see a lot more clearly the way that God is working and the way that um, the plan is going to work out. And of course it's going to involve more study. Yes, it's great listening to ministries and I think there are men out there who um, who have got Sometimes it's, it's always the case, isn't it? I say sometimes, I think it's always the case that someone's got something you haven't got. And then we take that to the Lord and we take it to the scripture and we reread the scripture and we find that, yes, maybe we didn't understand it quite correctly. And sometimes it's just an opening that we get that we didn't expect to get. And uh, it's all centered around what's going to happen in, in, in that Middle Eastern area that little piece of land that little strip of land i said on a previous video i remember flying out of israel flying out of the airport at tel aviv and uh, we were quite high up and it was a crystal clear day and i could look down and i could see the whole coast of israel from the north to the south 
And I thought to myself, well, there's a tiny little strip of land. And that tiny little strip of real estate that's being fought over by the nations. And we know in the end times what's going to happen. I say the very end times. when the nations will come against Jerusalem. But as it says in verse 7, Peace be within thy walls. Prosperity within thy palaces. And that's going to come. The millennial kingdom awaits us. But we know too that um, as we see particularly to the north, the powers of, of Persia, which is just real name, isn't it? Iran isn't it in the Bible, it's Persia. The powers of evil that are, are at work and uh, wanting to destabilize the earth and are doing it. And we're seeing the, the spirit of antichrist, the spirit of anti-Semitism rising up and um, basically grabbing hold of the minds of the masses, taking them on, leading them on. They don't understand it, but they're f fulfilling prophecy. And we are too. And if we're obeying the scripture, recognizing that um, in the end, it's going to be Jesus that will be reigning when his feet stand on the Mount of Olives. And so that will be the great testimony. That will be Israel's testimony, her inheritance and the lands that will be with her. That will, um, the ones that are surrounding her at this time. That some that, that will be enemies that will turn out in the end to be allies. And so, let's commit that little word to you now. And uh, um, whatever we come to share at this conference, um, I'll probably share some things with you. And uh, we'll see what the Lord has for us. But for now, enjoy the rest of your day.